a warning, there is a high concentration of delicious food in this video, as well as warmth, joy and love. If you are not ready to get a part of these vibes, don't watch. Hello world, hello my dear YouTubers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel, I'm Natalia from Belarus, your insider and uh, tour guide. In these uh, difficult days of closed borders, I decided to take you to a virtual journey to the southern part of Belarus. So yesterday we headed to Palesia with my friends and I'm gonna show you this area. Today we will have a masterclass with our local gastro enthusiast Irena Branislavovna. So we will cook the local food. Are you with me? Stay till the end. In the moments of turbulence, when the life is so unstable and coming future seems to be unpredictable, the best solution to get rid of bad thoughts is to travel and meet nice people, share wonderful moments together. Three hours and a half drive from Minsk and we are in Palesia, meeting a lovely lady, a local celebrity and culinary guru. So she will teach us how to cook a local food. Let's start. Yelena Branislavovna created her project Harchevnia Palushki two years ago when she came back home after a long and difficult process of chemical treatment in a hospital. Yes, she lives and works with status cancer. Going through difficulties, she shows the others that active and happy life is possible even having this awful disease. Yelena has an incredible inner strength together with a kind heart. She is my hero. The idea of this project is to keep culinary traditions of our ancestors from Palesia. So Yelena cooks using old recipes, most of them she took from her mother-in-law. That's how she presents our culture and introduces guests to the traditional cuisine of Palesia. By the way, all things and kitchen utensils, which you can see here, were used by her family members during last century, and each item has its own history, sometimes quite impressive. So this place is like a real museum of culinary traditions of this area, and Yelena enthusiastically keeps these traditions. Everybody can visit this hospitable place and have lunch or dinner, but you have to make an order in advance, because every meal made here is cooked in old-fashioned style in the stove. Tell me, my dear subscribers, if we imagine that you are in Belarus, would you like to visit such place and to have dinner here? I'm waiting for your comments below this video. Да, да, да. Сейчас оно будет прямо монтаж у нас. Well, guys, we started our masterclass, and we will cook our lunch, which will consist of fish and mushrooms as well. Then we will uh, try to make a pie. We already tried some uh, goodies here in this Harchevnia, or the local restaurant, if we can say so. It was so delicious, because uh, Yelena Branislavna, she is a real master, and everything she cooks, she makes with love. That's why food here, made by her, was delicious. What we will cook? <laughs> We will try and we will see. Will it be yummy or not? So, so 
We will stuff our fish with wheat and oat mixed with the mushrooms and vegetables. But first we have to fry carrots and mushrooms on a pan in the stove. When you live in the city and never use the stove, the opportunity to try cooking in such a way, it's something amazing. Nastya is making it the first time in her life. <laughs> Nastya, you will be a YouTube star. <laughs> you will be a YouTube star, <laughs> superstar. <laughs> Хозяюшки, хозяюшки. As you see, we mix wheat, vegetables, mushrooms, add spices and salt. Все равно, знаешь, чтобы меньше. Fantastic smell. Что смачно? Я люблю сперу. Муж мой, у армии, кто служил в армии. Я бы сегодня добавила, у меня такая солонка, как у моей бабушки. Чужой, ничего курить. Да, моя гранни, она имеет то же самое. Ты уже попробовала вот это? Пробую, я смотрю. Солите так, как было смачно. Потому что совсем без соли, ну, я я не могу так тоже кушать уже, но мне еще я бы подсолила. This fish is from local river Pripyat and Yelena shows us how to pull the spine out of the fish. So what we are doing right now, we are making a stuffed fish, it's carp, and I am putting inside wheat with vegetables and mushrooms, and then we are going to bake it in the stove. I really hope it will be delicious. Look what we've made, and now we're gonna put it in this stove, and uh, we will see what we will have at the end. We're almost ready for uh, for the future, for the hot future, <laughs> which is coming probably. Who knows? Uh, if we don't have electricity, now we will know how to cook it in the stove. Next part of our cooking masterclass is to make a local dessert cabbage pie. So let's watch the process. <laughs> to be honest, I was really surprised how fast the food can be cooked in the stove. And by the way, to cook something like this before this day, for me it was a kind of unreachable level. Now I can see that everything is possible. And moreover, we enjoyed every single moment of cooking together. And not only cooking, but eating as well. We cooked everything and now we will cut uh, the fish into some pieces and we're gonna try it. It looks so delicious.
Let's go. <laughs> Everyone is looking at me. But it's the most delicious food, the most delicious fish which I tried in my life. Oh my god. Time for Gedanists. Mm. Fantastic. Девочки, что скажете, Настя? Настя, это уже доест. Все. Да. It is not only about the food, mm -hmm. it is about the energy we share with each other. And I can name this process culinary therapy. <laughs> Wish everybody can try it. Tell me. Is it yummy or not? Yes, You cooked it. <laughs> And my dear subscribers, don't forget to put your likes uh, down below this video if you enjoy traveling with me. Remember that your help, your support is so important to me and uh, your donations are really uh, essential help in these uh, difficult days and it helps me to travel, to make new content so you can use the link down below this video and see you on the roads!